What's up everyone, Kate is here and today we're going to talk about Jetform Builder form settings. So guys, there are two types of settings that you have an opportunity to customize within the Jetform Builder plugin. First ones are the general settings of the plugin itself that can be found in Jetform Builder Settings tab. This is what the free version of the plugin looks like, but for more opportunities, of course, depending on your needs, you're always welcome to upgrade it to the pro version. If you want to see what options are available to the Jetform Builder Pro users, you can click on the Add ons tab where you'll find a nice little grid with all available add-ons as for now. If you click on Go Pro button, you'll surely get redirected to the pricing page where you'll have the possibility to check out the plan's differences and see which one works best for you. Going back to the Settings tab, here you have an opportunity to enable and configure payment gateways. This option will come in very handy in case you want to add payment methods to your website. Once enabled, it'll take precedence over manually added Allow Gateways filters if you have added them to the Functions PHP previously. If not, no worries, this option will do the job for you. I will add a link to the step-by-step -step article on how to configure payment gateways in the description below, so feel free to check it out, ok? Next, we have CAPTCHA settings. Here's the place where you can enter your site and secret keys. If you don't have one and simply don't know where to find it, click right here and fill out this short form to register your website. Ok. These three tabs give you the opportunity to integrate your forms with either MailChimp, GetResponse or ActiveCampaign services. All you need to do is simply paste the API key to either one of the tabs and save the changes. Just keep in mind that the ActiveCampaign requires the API URL too. If you don't have the API key yet and don't know how to obtain it, here you have the lovely links to the original articles with detailed explanations on what to do. So, these were the general settings of Jetform Builder plugin, and now let's hop into the form itself to see what settings it has to offer. Click on Forms. Now either open one of the forms you've already created or click on Add New to start creating the form from scratch. On the right-hand side, you'll see a Jet Form tab. Here's where the general settings of this particular form are located. First thing we see is status and visibility info, which is pretty obvious but informative, right? We need to open the Forms settings section. Here's where we can choose the fields layout, either column or row. So basically, if we choose column, the label will be placed above the field bar. And if we choose the row option, it will be placed in the same row with the field bar on the left hand side. Required mark symbol. Here's the place where you can set your own type of required mark symbol. I'll stick to the classic one. So basically guys, this little body will notify the users that the fields that you've toggled as required have to be filled out and can't be empty, because if so, he simply won't be able to submit the form. Alright, submit type. Here in the drop-down menu, you can choose how the page will behave after the user hits the submit button. If you choose page reload, the page will be reloaded. Who would have thought, yeah? <laughs> Just kidding. And if you choose Ajax, 
the data from the form will be transferred smoothly and silently without interrupting the user's experience on the page. Thus, no reloading whatsoever. And last but not the least, enable form pages progress. This option can be useful if you divide the form into several parts using the form break field. In this case, if you enable this toggle, the form progress bar will be added above and show the user the part of the form he is currently on. That's it! Thanks a lot for watching this video, hope it was useful and informative for you and your projects. If you still have any questions left, drop them in the comments below this video and we'll be glad to answer. Have a lovely day and take care!